What up, YouTube? How is everyone? I hope good. I'm here with a more positive of a reading. Um, I am going to go ahead and do this one without channeling at first. We're going to channel as we go. This is what people see every time they see you. So what? Do, how do they um, see you as a person, um, your situation, what you bring to this world? Um, do they see the devil? Do they see God? Are you... You know, who are you is what what we're going to find out. So with that being said, we're going to start with gratitude. Find just one thing that you feel grateful for right now and let it, the gratitude pour through your body. It's a healing balm like the warmth of the sun. So when they see you, they see that you have much gratitude, not only for yourself, but for the higher power that you're grateful for each and everything that you have in your life already and that you are t the type of person that recognizes that you know we need to not be so materially focused on things that we want in the future and really appreciate the things that we have now also with that being said um, you are very very grateful for your spirituality um, being connected to the higher power you're very grateful for the people that you do have in your life and you, you really do express that gratitude to each and every person and, of course, to the higher power each and every day. We have emotions. So they see you as a very emotional person. They see that you're not afraid to share your emotions with other people, to express them. Um, you could have been the complete opposite when you were younger. Or maybe you had uh, parents that would try and shut you down because you were an emotional kid. And that kind of stuck with you as, you know, you became, you know, a teenager, an adult. And um, I think that you're teaching other people also to allow their emotions to be felt and heard. Because God didn't create us to have emotions for us to bottle them up. Um, I think that you've learned through a lot of challenging times and through a lot of different relationships that you know it doesn't pay not to express our emotions to those that we do love and obviously if you're having a bad day that you really allow those emotions to be felt and heard okay we have the humor card I choose to focus on the lighter side of life so you try to find humor any way that you can even in the most difficult times in your life and people really do appreciate that because in a world that we are living in people are really having a hard time to find really anything to find humor in or just to, in general happy and happy in general so when people are around you or they see you they see that you're always smiling um, even when you're going through the toughest times in your life you have what it takes always follow your heart unless it's been broken then you must lead it back into love the universe. P.S. Did you know that hearts are never too big to mend, too small to rebound, or too tired to love again? So you have what it takes to love again. That you probably have had your heart broken many times throughout your life. It could have started when you were a child and you know moved into your adulthood. You could have been in some toxic relationships that really um, have hindered your growth. But you're the type of person that really believes in r love and I feel like you're not one that's settling for anything less than what you truly deserve. So when people see you, they know that even though you've had your heart broken, that you're still you know, hopeful that you will have that love of a lifetime in your life. Or they might feel that they could have that with you also. Also, I wanna go back to um, the emotions card. You could also bring out a lot of emotions in other people. Maybe people have done you really wrong throughout your life. And when they see you, they feel um, extreme emotions regarding that. We have guilt. So definitely people feel guilt. I don't feel like that you, you know, protrude the guilt um, feeling or energy out into the world. I feel that people feel guilty about what they have done to you. Um, what has gone on in your life, maybe what they have participated in to hinder your growth in some way. Uh, they feel guilty and they can't get out of their heads about it. So when they see you, 
they get stuck up in their heads um, with all the guilt from whatever they have done to you in your past or what they're doing to you you know at this current time soulmate so <laughs> this is kind of different so people see you as a soulmate um, they look at you as you know maybe they're the love that God has sent them to um, really connect with they are maybe people want you to be their soulmate they feel that you are their soulmate Ooh, the, my picture kind of fell down that's kind of weird let me pick it up because I don't want it to fall over I can't open my windows Okay, I apologize. I open the window and the wind starts blowing. So people just feel extremely guilty um, when they see you. Put it however it resonates in your situation. I know in my situation, I've gone through such a hard journey. Um, people really judge me harshly. They have judged me for somebody that I am not. And I feel like people are finally seeing the truth of what I've gone through and what my daughter and my family has has put out into the world as being something that it never was. So I feel that people are just really guilty from the things that they have done and said about you throughout your life. You have a lot of patience that you plant seeds and you have a lot of patience to allow it to grow into this beautiful flower that it is currently growing into and that is something that a lot of people in this world don't have is patience I feel that you have learned throughout your life that you everything comes to you in divine timing um, not all the time are you the most patient person because everybody at times loses their patience but I think that um, you are the type of person that of course plants that seed and then you kind of step back and watch it start to grow and with that being said I think a lot of people see that within you and they want to to understand how you can be so patient especially if it's something that has gone on in your life that has been unfair or unjust I think people really um, are starting to really kind of you know step back and watch the seeds that you are planting starting to grow so Curiouser and curiouser, discovery, inquiry, weirdness, curiosity. So people are very curious about you. You also could be a very curious type person. You like to discover new things. You might research a lot. Um, you use your, your, your hard experiences and your good experiences to help you grow in your life. Um, they kind of might look at you as a little weird, but that's, you know... That's a unique quality that each and every one of us should, you know, bring out into this world because none of us are exactly alike and this world would be tremendously boring if we were. We have gossip. Stop listening to bullshit lies, rumors, and fake ass people and tell the truth for once in your life, now and forever. So when they see you, they think of all the gossip that they've heard about you. They also are thinking about, um, probably some ridiculous things that they've heard they also I feel want to stop gossiping about you I think that they jumped on that bandwagon about you and we're listening to you know these fake ass people telling you know lies and rumors and when they see you whatever they've heard about you does not add up when they see you they might have said that you were homeless they see you and they obviously see that you're not homeless um, they could have accuse you of being a prostitute and you're not promiscuous at all they could have said that you're a heroin addict or a drug addict and when people see you they can clearly see that you're not those of course are just examples but they're good examples so they think about the gossip that they've heard also the gossip that they have also spread and I think that they're finally seeing that you know um, it's time to stop stop it it's time to stop listening to it and it's time to nip it in the ass we have the Ace of Cups, sign of cancer. You are always this woman, this walking around with this huge cup of love to offer every person that you come into contact with. It could be um, 
you you you're a t the t excuse me you're the type of person that doesn't judge a person by the way they're dressed or what you know class in life they fit into um, if they're different if they have piercings all over their face if they have tattoos if they're drug addicts if they are you know rich people you just always walk around with this huge cup of love for each and every person that comes you come into contact with and that really is another thing that is missing in this life tremendously and I feel that people really do appreciate that a lot about you and they see this just tremendous cup of love every time they see you patience again so you have tremendous patience in life if you've tried forever to shift a problem there's probably something to learn from embracing it may I let this be for now help me relax and trust every need will be met often change soon follows so you you definitely embrace all of the things that you're challenged with um, you know that God will handle it along with you in the time that, that God decides it's not for you to to um, face a problem right away I feel like you step back you go within you connect to the higher power and again you plant that seed and you watch it grow so you are an extremely patient person is what people see when they see you religion and spirituality so you um, I'm assuming that you're a spiritual person if you're watching my channel but you don't have to be I am not a fan of religion I feel like religion is something that has been a tradition that people have been taught for so many generations and I think it's false but that's my personal opinion but I think that they they look at this as you know you're going through probably a spiritual warfare people really judge you for your spirituality compared to the religious beliefs I also feel like a lot of people are starting to really um, look at what their beliefs are compared to yours and I and I feel like there's been a lot of people told that what you believe is not really real but the more that they see you and the more that they get to know you and the more that they see the way that you live and handle your life and have patience for God to help handle all of the things that you're going through people are really seeing you as this beautiful butterfly that has transformed you also could have been raised in a really religious home it could have been also a cult I don't want to ever leave that out that you were not able to transform into who whom you are until you stepped into your actual spiritual uh, presence and and knowledge so we have peace I am a being of love and I release all negative energy so you really are this peaceful person that you want your life to be you know full of peace that you um, really do focus on releasing all negative energy that comes towards you I always tell people that it's we, we need to release it to the universe for the universe to do with it what what the universe sees fit now my uh, readings I are my messages I want to I don't want to call them readings because they're channeled messages have really been um, not this beautiful reading that I'm doing right now and I'm very sorry for my subscribers I know that it my channel took a completely different turn but that is me releasing all of the negative things that I have gone through in my life by speaking out about them also being able to help other people uh, know it's okay to, to speak out about horrible things that have happened and are still happening in our life because that will again bring peace into our world you're being watched by loving eyes what if you're actually an ancient gladiator of love and joy who agreed to visit earth during these uh, years to spark some new things share a few smiles and help others discover they too are awesome just saying the universe PS up for a joist of course with rubber thingies so you, people are really watching you um, with their loving eyes and it doesn't have to be on a romantic sense it could be just people I think are finally seeing you for who the fuck you really are instead of all the gossip and rumors about you that were being spread by horrible fucking people but we're not gonna go there I want to keep this more on a very you know love and light type of energy I'm sick of the negative you know darkness of the devil and jealousy of people and just pure ignorance so uh, people really are seeing you for who you are but you're also 
you were brought here. You might even be an earth angel that was brought here to really open the eyes up of people and and really spiritual and re, uh, religious differences and also the spiritual warfare that we are facing, you know, tremendously right now. Um, you were brought to earth to really bring love and light and joy into people's lives. And unfortunately, I feel like other people have been jealous of that tremendously. So they have really stopped that from happening and really have tried to hinder your growth by, you know, making you look in the complete opposite of who you are. So you're, people are really looking at you with loving eyes. And, and if you have been going through a difficult time, if you were raised in a difficult, you know, environment um, with a difficult, you know, karmic type family, I feel that people are really opening up to really that and really looking at you with more love in their hearts than they ever have done before. We have guidance. So they see that you are definitely guided by the higher power, that you allow the guidance of, you know, the higher power to guide you through making the decisions that you make, um, you know, be, having the patience that you have to be able to deal with the problems that you have in your life in a completely different way than what they do. I think that you're also able to teach other people to turn in, to, you know, within themselves and to also step into the power of the higher power, which is your, you know, God, your angels, guides and ancestors and really allow them to take you, you by the hand and guide you down the path that you're meant to go down. They also might look at you again as an earth angel, like you bring something different to this world than they've ever seen or that they were allowed to see is what I'm getting. Um, they, they really look at you as a beautiful angel and that really is helping people uh, turn to the guidance of the higher power instead of turning to maybe the darkness and the devil. We have gossip again. So um, people really are now able to see that what people are, have been saying about you was like jealous women is what I'm getting, or it could have been jealous men too, but you're this happy go beautiful person and you could be a male. It doesn't always just have to be a female, but uh, people were really uh, gossiping about somebody and making, trying to make this, this woman here look like something that she isn't. So I feel like you really have been standing your ground and you really have been opening up the eyes of, you know, your community and the people around you to see you for who you truly are. We have obstacles and challenges, so you've definitely faced tons of obstacles and challenges in your life. Again, the, the patience card comes back into this um, card also because even though you have been faced with so many obstacles and challenges, and I'm sorry I'm getting very emotional with this card, so I feel that people are emotional when they see you because they could have created these obstacles and challenges for you or they finally are seeing all the real obstacles and challenges that you have faced throughout your life. But you, again, you have allowed the higher power to guide you through these obstacles and challenges, and people are really noticing that about you. Investigate, look closely, ask questions, think before acting. So you could be part of an investigation, definitely, or you could um, have needed to investigate the things people were saying about you, um, the things that, you know, the obstacles and challenges that have been put, you know, upon you by other people and situations. Other people might be actually starting to investigate what the gossip was about you instead of just believing it about you. Um, I, I feel like I have to go back to my readings that I have been doing for the last, you know, however long about talking about investigators. I think now that people are really opening up that there is a, a actual investigation going on uh, regarding these obstacles and challenges that have been uh, put upon you. So, but I do feel that you also do not settle. You don't, you know, just allow people to run all over you without really investigating what the fuck is going on, which makes you a very tremendously strong, beautiful person because we all should look into each and everything that is put upon us, even if it is you are standing alone fighting a battle against a community or against many communities or even against many states. Always remember, always please, that we're never alone because a higher power 
if you are connected to the higher power, is there with us, guiding us, and will help us through each and every challenge that we are faced with. Uh, going to jail and prison, guilty as charged for that rotten pussy and dick. So I don't feel like this is you. I don't feel like, I feel more that the people that are being investigated are going to be found guilty as charged. I feel that a lot of people have done tr um, horrible things to you and maybe even your family. Uh, people are finally again seeing the truth of the situation and it's making more sense to them why you have been um, singled out, why people have done horrible things to you because they, I feel we're covering up whatever is being investigated in your situation. I feel you also have spent some time in jail, maybe even prison, um, and you should have never been there, but you took it like a fucking champ and you, you sat your days and did whatever you had to do. Uh, I feel like people were gossiping about that, but again, karma is here and the wheels of fate, the wheels of fortune are changing. And so if you had to sit in any type of jail or prison and you weren't guilty, those people that created that fucking mess for you are the, going to be the ones that are going to be on the bottom facing that jail and prison time now. We have the Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is conflict and fighting. There could have been three bitches that were causing conflict and you know, fighting in your life. It could have been, you know, an entire family. It could have been an entire community causing, you know, this this whirlwind of conflict in your life. But I feel like again, you had the patience. You you turned to the higher power, and you you kind of st stood back and let you know the the wheel of fate, the wheel of karma, step in divine timing. And now I feel like you're finally moving out of this conflict and fighting. And those people now are not um, closing their eyes to it. That's another thing. People are not covering their faces, are being blind to what was being done to you in the past. So that is going to bring you straight out of this. And your faith and belief has always kept you moving forward, no matter if there were people causing all this ruckus in your life. Okay, I've been speaking about di divine timing throughout this entire reading. So when they see you, they think about divine timing. Or they might even look at you as a divine chosen one. But I think that you're also teaching other people that everything happens in our life when divine timing is here. And that's when God and the higher power decide it's time for each and every person to go through this. The divine brings things in the timing that we need. Nothing comes before we're prepared, nor leaves too early. May I always trust your perfect and holy timing, dear Lord. So you definitely um, shed light on divine timing. You also believe in it. You also know that God will bring the things to us when the timing is right. We have memories. So people have memories of you. Uh, they could have good memories of you. This looks like a beautiful loving card. Or they could have bad, of course. But I think that you bring a lot of loving memories back to people. That when they don't see you, they don't remember so much. Or they could. But you might be even opening up memories that people have stopped, um, are repressed in their lives. And it's helping them also to heal and to grow into this beautiful flower and butterfly. We have acceptance. I am learning to accept that things that I cannot change. So maybe people are starting to accept you more. Um, maybe you are accepting the fact that you cannot save the world, that you cannot change the past that you need to heal from it and be able to move on. Yeehaw! When it comes to choosing who will be in your life, I re recommend valuing the yeehaw quality above all others. Have it your way. Special orders don't upset us, the universe. So people really um, see that, or they feel kind of a yeehaw feeling when they're around you or they see you. And they also feel like you're not the type of person that is going to settle for a relationship or a marriage that doesn't give you that, you know, spark, that fun, that childish, you know, that inner child feeling is what I'm trying to say. Uh, maybe you also, when they see you, maybe you're still a person that you could be 45 years old and dressed like you're in your 20s. I mean, you know, and they just they just feel this really kind of skip in their walk when they see you or they see you 
you know, when you walk, you have that skip in your walk still. And it really motivates people to see, you know, still the, more the lighter side of life. And also not to settle for relationships and, and jobs and anything like that that aren't making us happy, aren't making us feel excited about, you know, being with somebody or being in a, a work environment that we just dread going to each and every day. That you're able to compromise tremendously. That you that you um, will accept people's apologies or you will accept situations that are fair and you're willing to compromise with each and every person to, to come to a to come to a compromise in the situation that you're able to to work with other people very well if those people are willing to work with you are I'm also getting that you weren't going to compromise this time because you've spent a lifetime compromising with bullshit in your life that people have really hindered your life and hindered your growth and and done things to you that has really stopped you in your tracks and you used to compromise with them before and this time you said fuck you I'm not going to compromise I know that I am worth more I know who I am I don't care what people say I don't care what people do I'm done compromising with these people and I'm not going to allow anyone or anything to stop me from growing so we have facade so with this card I feel that you grew up in a house that people looked at your your family as this really healthy happy um, you know successful house and but when the door was closed and nobody was there it was the complete opposite so I, I think that people had a facade of who you were and they they really see you now and they really see through what the smoke and mirrors were it could have been regarding a dad and his children or it could be you know a grandfather but this I feel like there was a father in your life that really projected himself out to be in this you know really good man this really wholesome loving you know family man but in reality when the door was shut it was a complete different um, environment it was actually a complete fucking clusterfuck nightmare that was full of dirty dark secrets and I think that you're opening really the the mind of people to see really where you grew up um, in how your family was and I think now that when people see you they finally see the truth of what was really going on we have triumph and success so you really go for the gusto man you don't fucking stop you people I feel have created so much you know trauma and so much uh, obstacles and challenges in your in your way but no matter what you take this big sword and you just bust through it like no other you're never going to stop until your life is this successful life that you've always wanted and always have deserved. You also might be um, really um, having a triumph in success when it comes to that investigation. Uh, it could be through a business. It could be through relationships. But they really see you as having a very successful ending or you're in that phase right now. We have who in the world are you getting to know the new you. So in the past, again, I feel like you were kind of quiet. You were really kind of reserved. You didn't really t um, tell the truth. And I don't mean like tell the truth like you were telling white lies. I feel like it was more the fact that you were um, not bringing out the truth of what you had gone through. And now you're standing in your power and you're not allowing anyone or anything to, to stop you from moving forward and so people are really getting to know the, the new you and I think that with that being said they see that you're really going to triumph and have a lot of success because you've grown so much from all the obstacles and challenges and experiences that you had in your life so you are never going to lie again stop rumors from hurting people so every time that they see you again the rumors card comes out they're never going to lie about another person again because they seen what other people have done to your life even maybe them and it really really um has opened their eyes to not listening to obviously rumors but obviously not lying about a person to me i don't know why a person would do that 
It could be, uh, you know, for their own insecurities. It could have been to really uh, mask what, what you had been raised in and what environment was going on. But I feel when people see you, they really regret lying and really regret listening to the rumors be because they can really see that that isn't who you truly are. The last card I have is the Knight of Pentacles. So um, you, this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. But I feel like you ride in as a knight towards people and you'll you'll offer them your last pinnacle if, if need be. I feel like you really care about people so much that even if you're broke or even if you don't have a lot to offer, you're more than happy to, you know, zoom in on this broom and offer this last pinnacle to each and every person that needs it um, more than you do. So... With that being said, that is what people see when they see you. I feel like you have definitely been on a traumatic, um, you know, hard journey throughout your life. But I think that, you know, people are finally kind of working through the smoke and mirrors, really starting to open up to really what was truly going on. And these people over here are kind of stuck in the guilt. The thing is, is that, you know, all these people have to do is come to you and you know, open up about what they have done or you know what rumors or lies maybe that they've heard about you or just even come in and talk to you about, you know, I'm sorry that I listened to Joe Blow yesterday about you and I'm sorry that I didn't give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm sorry if I was jealous over you or if, you know, I thought my husband was in love with you, but please, you know, can we please sit down and talk and, and work through this? Because I feel like these people had judged you in such a shitty light, but in reality, you were nothing but light and love. So with that being said, thank you for watching Healing Power of Divine Universe. Again, I love you all so very much. Have a blessed day. Peace and blessings.